Now, before I begin this little rant that I have, um, don't mind if you hear the fan. It's very hot and it's not going to be a very professional video because I don't give a shit because let's just say um, the past is haunting me now and because I received a comment about eight months ago that I want to ignore, but this is really coming back from the past, so... Um, I, uh, please don't send any hate to this person or anything or judge because I Anyways, I'm just gonna read it. This person said hey, can you make another creepy Susie video? Also, if you do can you insert spider-man into it? I know it sounds stupid, but you can guess who I'm going with this to be honest, I'm not liking that idea because um this is relating to the past web series that I used to do before I became an anime ASMRist, before I do creepypasta narrations. This was before um, ever, all of this happened. I didn't have that many subscribers, I didn't have that many views because I was a small creator that's just trying to beat depression and all because YouTube was a way to, you know, face some some bad some, some bad things that happened in my life and um um these some of these people actually enjoyed my old work my past videos that i've done way back like 2020 or 2021 and again those years really haunted me because those were the bad years for me bad years like capital b a d like I kind of want to forget about it and just move forward because, um, again, this web series that I used to do and canceled it because, um, I'm gonna get there right now because I have my three reasonings and I would leave a huge trigger warning because it will involve some very creepy content. It's nothing relating with imagery or anything. It's all in words. So I'm not gonna show anything. I'm just gonna use my own words what I'm about to tell you, Beans, because this is the reasons, or a few reasons, why I am never doing the Spooky 4 series, or I'm planning never to bring this series back from the dead. Like, I think it should just be buried after what's been going, like, what I've been going through because of that, so, um... Let's start with my first reasonings, why I am never bringing back the Spooky 4 ever again. Reason number one, my mental health. Kind of obvious. Um, I did explain to this during my vent back on October. It, let's say it really messed me up because back at that time, I suffered really bad depression. I was alone. I was isolated. I felt like my surroundings were like nothing. Like I was alone. And YouTube was a way that I could cope that and just make whatever hell I want. So, um, let's just say I thought of this idea because someone requested me to be a little creative with this little web series. Like, so this little web series, The Spooky Four, it's about four beloved goth girls from TV shows, cartoons, and shit. And, um, if you recognize these characters, um, Creepy Susie from The Oblongs, um, Lydia Deeds from Beetlejuice, the animated version. Gothetta from some vampire show, and Phantasma from Scooby-Doo and school, and school, ghoul school, yes, yes, ghoul school, ghoul school, that's really hard to say, um, number one, I didn't know those two, I only know Creepy Susie and Lydia, I know Scooby-Doo, and I have seen Phantasma a few times, but, um, it was requested by some really random people, because these were beloved goth girls, and, um, I know the reason why they make me choose these girls is because um, they were drawn in very lewd acts, and uh, they were these people were expecting me to do something vulgar of these girls. But as a goth chick myself, I turn it into a cat to catch a predator story, cause you know, um, yeah, that really fucked up my mental health because <laughs> it's a really heavy topic. Like, I've only done three episodes because. The fourth episode, I will get to it because there's a backstory behind episode four, and my god, <laughs> technically, the reason why I, I stopped because of my mental health, like, 
it was making me feel angry and make me feel sad. Like I actually began hating it and people like, let's say it does involve all-star Petro Bean. Um, if you beans remember, like he was exposed of being a pedophile. Um, I would get to that. And, um, let's just say these audiences that I've had before, um, they were creeps and they were expecting something vulgar and exclusive content because featuring these four they're pretty much you know if you get what i mean um yeah they weren't expecting um me featuring real life predators from the real world being tortured because you know to catch a predator they'd be exposed for doing horrible things to children or exploiting children these people weren't expecting that and they seem kind of disappointed or somewhat so it's kind of fucked up so um let's talk about the second reasoning why i stopped the spooky four and why i canceled it and that's relating to a messenger group chat on, on messenger that really messed me up because i feel like i was surrounded by creeps that enjoyed the, this little web this web series that i made like when i was in this mess like this this group chat um all-star petro bean kind of introduced me to this um group chat and to be honest i felt uncomfortable over there because it was a lot of guys that really really enjoys cartoon little girl characters and to me i'm just like what the frick it did i get myself into i was like 18 when i joined this like again uh i <laughs> again i wasn't expecting all of this to happen but um I would just see these guys, like, they were, like, older than me and all, and I didn't know what I was going to get myself into. These men really, really enjoys cartoon characters that are little girls. There was this guy that told me, um, he would always think about this underage little girl from a cartoon that I don't know of, and I just felt uncomfortable, and there would be guys, like, sending photos of some cartoon girl from... Oh my god, I think I should have left a trigger warning, but uh, maybe I should leave a trigger warning before listening to this because these guys are freaks. I mute myself and I wanted to leave the group chat, but All Star Petro Bean kept telling me, don't leave, it's okay, we would block these guys. Like, you, you, I know that these guys are creeps, they're pedophiles, they feel like they're sexually attracted to these underage girls, and I feel like that's also fucked up because... The reason why I was in that group chat is because they introduced me to this group chat and um, they said that they're huge fans of my little web series because um, it featured four of their favorite um, characters, especially um, Creepy Susie. But anyways, um, yeah, I left that group chat because um, they were pretty upset that I left because they looked up to me and they they were actually upset when I told them that I'm canceling the, the series because they wanted to add more um, really disturbing um, requests about what I should add for new episodes. And yes, that's going to be the third reasonings um, is the creepy requests they would give me. Again, it's going to be a huge trigger warning because these requests are really messed up. And talking about underage characters from TV shows in exclusive storytelling and trust me I am not really into that sort of stuff I never did any of this it's just these requests really creep the crap out of me that these men would give me because <laughs> again I I <laughs> thinking about them right now like I'm so glad I'm done with this series like I'm glad I'm buried it but sadly there would be people that wants me to bring them back so again trigger warning these requests are fucked up anyway so there was one that all-star petro bean gave me was um he wanted me to do an episode where creepy susie meets her nsfw lewd fan art self and make her feel insecure about herself that she doesn't have that sort of body um and i'm not sure he wants me to 
draw Susie in a very lewd way because she's a 10 year old character and I do not want to look them up so he made that request and I'm like no I'm not doing that for an episode this is supposed to be fun for everybody pretty much for kids that hates pedophiles and think this like as a fun idea but making me draw or search up fan arts like that that's crossing the line because even I'm against that sort of artwork it's not art it's an abomination of art um the next one was about episode four I would get to about episode four so episode four was supposed to be a school special you know with the four girls and other characters from gothic shows um I was featuring like Frank and Weenie, Invader Zim, Billy and Mandy, etc, etc. Um, so the Predator I was supposed to add in was Bill Cosby. And if you be in stone know who Bill Cosby is, he used to be once a beloved um, fatherly character, a, a actor from a beloved TV series, and it turns out he's a creep and all. So I was going to add him until um, All-Star Petra Bean would give me creepy ideas what he would do to... Um, or talk to to the characters so to be honest I destroyed the, the the script because it was so hard to write and so hard to um create because looking back at it I was haunted by it I actually regret writing the, the script because it really made me uncomfortable and it really fucked up my mind like I feel like I'm done with this because I think this is crossing the line because I again I know they're not real they're char- like they're fictional but in my mind I'm just I destroyed it like I ripped it into pieces because it was really fucking fucking up my mental health and then he thought of a part 2 the witch is also canceled and he made a really disturbing request to add in part 2 he told me that Bill Cosby comes back from the dead kidnaps Susie Wednesday Adams and Lydia Dietz and he turns them into an abomination where he to be honest I don't want to say it because it's very fucked up and I'm just like I think I'm done because that is just crossing the line right there even I'm not even visualizing in my mind I'm just like okay I think that's too much because I feel like this would attract even more creeps like the, the group chat I was in, like, I am no longer in that group chat, like, I quit, like, I was disturbed by these men, and because these people, these types of creeps were fans of mine, and I actually, <laughs> it's a really disturbing thought, because I was, like, 18 or 19, that was suffering from depression, and just creating these web series for fun, because I was bored out of my mind, I didn't do this just to I just do it for fun for entertainment in a way like I didn't care if I had that many views I didn't care like it was worth a lot of effort like I did put a lot of effort into them and <laughs> Alt- I guess I should start with the reason reasonings of with the last one is I'll start Petro Bean that I discussed on my event who was once my friend back in the early tw- uh, 20s 2020s turned out to be uh, a pedophile because he was talking inappropriately to my fans um yeah (laughs) I think he made these really disturbing requests to me because I feel like he only likes my work is because it involves underage characters especially the goth ones let me tell you this, Creepy Susie was one of my favorite um, characters as a childhood, like back in my childhood, like I was, I always loved the gothic characters like Wednesday, Lydia, as a little girl, I idolized these girls because I want to be like them, I'm a total goth chick that really likes these characters and I don't see them in the most weirdest way. He however does, he only likes me because I, in, like, I talk about these characters like talking about my favorite childhood characters in a way and he would always bring up really creepy and disturbing things about them and I'm just like dude you're trying to ruin my childhood what the fuck 
Oh yeah, another thing. Whenever I post something relating to like a cute fan art that I do and he's like, Oh, thank God you're not like drawing them in lewd acts or sexualizing them. Like he always mentions that. And I knew in the back of my head, he wants to see that. I'm not saying factually, but at the back of my head, I'm just like, I guess he would like to see that. Because he always mentions these creepy requests from the past, like ideas on just disturbing fetishes, anything relating to that and these characters. Like, it really ruined my childhood, and um, it just made me ruin my reputation to continue that series, is because of- he was- he was pretty disturbing. Like, whenever in the group chat, like, no longer there anymore, he would always mention it, and I would get seriously uncomfortable with these ideas. I think right now I just realized that I may have attracted a bunch of pedos into this web series that the group chat was full of them. Like, back then I didn't know, but five, like, like about four or three years later, I just realized it. Like, it's kind of a disturbing thought because most of these men were older than me. Some of them are around my age, but, um, again, I didn't know that they were pedophiles or just creeps that really like little girls, especially in fictional, in a way. Um, it's a really disturbing thought to think about, like, they're everywhere. So yeah, that's another reason why I canceled this, is because I was driving these pedos to this series, because back then I didn't know. It's- I'm just saying, like, it's really creepy to even think about it. Because, you know, this series was about catching pedophiles and, you know, slaughtering them in a way, in, in a joking way, because, you know, karma's a bitch. But who knows? <laughs> Again, this is because some of these people actually want this series to come back, but in my mind, I do not want to return this back from the dead. I don't want to lure in any more creepy people because they enjoyed this, because it affects my mental health, these creepy requests these people are giving me. I'll start Petra Bean because he wants to do a collab with me because he thought of many ideas and to be honest, thinking about those ideas, scrap them because I do not want to return this because of what I just explained throughout this entire video. So to any of you that wants this series to come back from the dead, I'm sorry. I am not returning this. I've moved on. I do not want to go back through depression because of that. The reason why I still have these up is because I chose to. Because I had fun making these, and they were these were all my original ideas. Nothing too harmful, nothing too disturbing. I mean, yeah, there will be a little disturbing, but not too much. But the requests that All Star Petra Bean would give me are extremely disturbing, and even though I won't do that. So, yeah, I decided not to return this back, so I'm not doing these anymore. Even if I won't do an ASMR on any of these girls. Okay, maybe Lydia or Wednesday, who knows. <laughs> but maybe not Creepy Susie because I still enjoy doing Creepy Susie's voice, like, sound like a creepy French girl, like, I've always loved doing her voice because it's fun. But, um, I would never do another video relating to them anymore because it really fucked up my childhood memories and um, half of my innocence so um, I think that's a wrap beans um, I wanted to say thank you so much for listening to this rant it's an option to listen to this and to the ones that enjoy this little series I'm so sorry because the disturbing backstory behind this series really still haunts me to this day, and I just want to leave them in the past and never talk about it ever again or mention it. I mean, I don't mind if you mention it or curious about more behind the backstories, why I won't return this, but that this is my reasoning, and I hope you all understand. Anyways, 
Have a wonderful day, little beans. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and drink plenty of water because summer is all around the corner. Goodbye.